Hello, my friends. Welcome to our denim series. You asked for it and we're delivering. So we are going to do a series of denim triumphs from different brands. And today we're starting with Maurice's. Now I found so many jeans at Maurice's, but let me tell you what this is going to look like. Number one, everything I'm trying on is in plus size because that's the size that I am. Most of the things that I'm trying on are going to be available in straight sizing and everything that I talk about with how a certain cut or fit is going to work for a body shape will translate from plus size to straight size. Second thing, we're gonna do this Maurice's denim try-on in two parts, again, because I found so many pairs of jeans. Today is part one, and what we're gonna try on is any wide leg, boot cut, flare, or straight fitting denim that I picked up. Part two is gonna be jeggings and like super skinny style denim that I grabbed. Let's get into it. Okay, the first pair of jeans that I have on is what they're calling a slim straight and more specifically in an ankle fit. So it's a 27 inch inseam. When it comes to length, we talk about this in your body shape analysis. If you've gotten one, it's in your packet. If you haven't gotten a body shape analysis, there is a link below, sign up and get that done ASAP. The length of bottoms that is gonna feel the most balanced on your body shape, we talk about that in that packet. For me, I'm an apple shape. Anywhere from just below my calf to right at my ankle bone or just above my ankle bone is gonna be my sweet spot for length. So with that, the length of these is definitely in a range that's gonna work well for me. Now let's talk about the silhouette, slim straight. As an apple shape, slim and skinny jeans will always deliver the most balanced fit because we have no hips and we have no butt. Anytime we get into some sort of straight fit denim, it starts to get really baggy through the rise here and also can feel really baggy through the backside. If you're gonna do anything that starts going into a straight or a slim straight as an apple, what you wanna pay attention to is the fabric. You want a real almost jegging-like material to the denim so that it gives a really hugging fit through the hip and through the front. This does not have that. Now this fabric is stretchy and it is comfortable, but it's not as hugging as I need it to be as an apple shape through the rise and through the hips here. So they kind of, again, feel like they're delivering a little bit of that baggy fit through the front. Now, if you are straight body shape, if you are hourglass or you are bottom curvy, you've got no worries. You can have a lot more fun with straight cut or you know slim straight cut denim. Fabric is not gonna be as much of an issue for you when it comes to fit. You're just gonna be looking at fabric for more when it comes to comfort. Let's talk about the rise though on these. When you're trying on bottoms, you wanna look at the rise. You wanna make sure the rise is proportionate to your body shape. So just to review, when you're trying on pants, here's sort of your fit flow chart. The rise, the silhouette of the leg, and then the length. Are those three things a match for your body shape? So the rise on this is, as an apple, I want high rise. My belly button's here, the rise of the denim is coming up to here. In these, for my shape, the rise is a match, the length is a match. Unfortunately, the cut through the leg isn't quite working for me, but honestly, these will work for pretty much anybody else. Apples, you feel my pain. <laughs> Dresses and pants are just torture for us to sometimes find. I'm confident that in my haul, I will have plenty of pairs that will work for an apple shape. This probably just isn't the best option. Not a bad option, just maybe not the best. Okay, next pair, a wide leg. Oh my gosh, I have not put on a pair of wide leg jeans in about a million years. Let's talk about our three fit points. Rise, silhouette, length. Rise is okay. My belly button's here. The rise is up to here. This says it's a high rise, which technically it is. So let's review rises. Start with your belly button. On you, that's going to be a mid rise. Anything that comes up above it is going to be a high rise. Anything that is below it is a low rise. Regardless of what something says it is, it's all about how it actually fits you. So this says it's a high rise, but for me in my shape and my size, 
even though this technically is a high rise, I prefer something to come up more here. That's going to deliver more comfort in a fit through my midsection. Again, in your body shape analysis packet, we talk about this, what rise is going to be the most balanced and best fit on what body shape. So again, refer to your body shape analysis packet to remind yourself. Um, if you haven't gotten one done yet, do it now. Link is down below. Now let's talk about the cut of it. Technically, a wide leg pant will work for almost all body shapes because a wide leg pant is also known as like a trouser cut pant. And it's always going to kind of have this um, A-line fit through the midsection and then out through the leg. So it doesn't go straight down. It doesn't taper in, doesn't taper in then out. It's just like a straight A-line fit. What you're going to want to pay attention to is specific to the brand and the design of the wide leg. Is the rise fitting well for you? Is it wide enough through your hips? Is the fabric stretchy to deliver comfort? Do you want fabric to have a little bit more structure to it? So you kind of want to be looking at some of those other points. Then you want to be looking at the length. There's always an exception to the rule, but for a wide leg or a trouser cut pant, if it has a traditional fit to it, so it's not supposed to be like a cropped or an ankle or like a kickler or something like that, it should be touching the top of your foot. That's about how long it should be, which this, this is doing. So this is an okay length for me. But I know what you're all thinking, Lindsay, what shoes am I going to wear with these jeans? Something like this that has such a wide silhouette on it you want to balance that with having a shoe that also has a wide silhouette. What do I mean by that? Something that has more of like a platform um, sole on it or something that has like a heel on it, um, something that kind of has a chunkier look or feel to it, it's going to balance the wide leg. It's going to complement it really is the word I should be using, the wide leg silhouette of the pant. If I do like a really skinny flat, um, or slide or mule or something like that, it's going to look really off. It's, it's not going to complement the silhouette and the look of the denim. Next, I have on a pair of flare denim, which, oh my gosh, <laughs> this just like isn't bringing back all the memories of high school. Point of reference, I graduated in 1998. You can do the math on how old I, I am and what kind of style of clothes I wore when I was in high school. Rise, silhouette, length. That's what we're looking at, okay? When we're trying on bottoms, rise. Oh my gosh, excellent. Here's my belly button. Here's the rise of the denim here. This is much more my comfort zone. Then we're gonna look at the silhouette, right? The cut of it. So it's coming in nice and hugging through the hips here and through the rise. We really want that as an apple shape. We have no hips. We have no behind. So we really need that hugging cut through the hips and through the rise here so again, it doesn't feel bunchy or baggy on us. So then we're going into a flare cut, which again, can work on anyone, but let's talk about length. Remember what I said when we just tried on those wide leg pants? Anything that's in a traditional fit for a boot cut flare, wide leg trouser, something like that, again, that's not supposed to be cropped or ankle. It really should just be grazing the top of the foot. So these are much too long. Like I can step on them. Like I can put them under my heel much, much too long. Honestly, the only way that these would work if I was wearing like high heels or super high wedges to bring me way up off the ground like this so that I got a cleaner, cleaner length on the pant. We don't want our pants dragging on the ground. If that's happening to you and your denim is fraying, you know, behind on the hem because they're fitting too long in your flares or boot cuts, that is no good. We want to get them up to a shorter length. What shoe are we going to wear with this? If you have a wider silhouette on the bottom of your pant, you want to have a silhouette of a shoe that's going to complement that. Something with a heel, with a platform, with a wedge, something with a chunkier kind of base or a look to it. We don't really want a slim or dainty shoe paired with such a wide opening on a pant. It's, it's going to look off. It's not going to complement it as well. Got another flare pair on for you. This one specifically is called the Cool Comfort Flare. Maurice's has a couple different lines of, of denim. Cool Comfort, Everflex, and M by Maurice's. I love all of them. So the difference between most of them is gonna be the fabric. So how much stretch and movement or structure is in the fabric. They're all great. 
all of the denim done by Maurice's themselves, I have loved. They do carry some other brands like I think Judy Blue, Can Can, Silver, things like that. I'm going to get into covering other brands of denim at another try-on, but just know I love all the Maurice's jeans. Here's my belly button. Here's the rise here. That's good for me. It's got a nice kind of slim and hugging cut through the hips and through the rise. That feels really good. The length isn't great, but it's better than the other pair. However, let's talk about this, that flare opening on the bottom. Do you see that? And that kind of, this would be called a tuxedo striping on the side here. So let's talk about style. When you're trying on clothing, we're looking, does it check three boxes? Does it fit your shape, your style, your life? The details on this denim are really going to speak to your style profile. Does this feel comfortable for you to wear or does this feel like a costume? Is this going to mix and match into your closet with pieces you already own and complement the style and look they've already been building into your wardrobe, which hopefully is reflective of your authentic self and your authentic style. This is definitely going to lean a little bit more boho edgy in its style. So that's what I would kind of be looking out for when I'm trying on a pair of denim that has some details like this on it. This is my last pair in part one of our Marisa's Denim Try-On. And again, another pair of flares. I've been trying on in between like an 18 um, W and a 20 W and all of these jeans I've been showing you. The blog post, which is linked below, is going to give you side-by-side -side pictures of what this looks like online, what this looks like on me, what size I'm wearing in it and kind of all of the details. So you're going to definitely want to reference that blog post. It's going to give you shopping links, all of the things. This is an 18. It definitely feels a little bit snug in this specific style. I've definitely tried on an 18 and a couple other pairs that have felt comfortable. This one feels a little bit like a little bit too small. And I think the reason is the double button. As an apple shape, the double button, not really my favorite thing. It doesn't give kind of a comfortable or smooth fit through my midsection as an apple because we carry all of our curve here through the midsection. So it can just kind of cut it and fit a little bit a little bit awkwardly. I think because of the double button feature on this, it's just giving a little bit of a different fit in the size. But rise is good. Here's my belly button. Here's the rise of the pant. Nice hugging fit through the hips and through the rise. Actually, this has the most hugging fit through the hips and through the rise on me. And I believe this is the, oh, you know why? This is the Everflex. Everflex, I would say, is my favorite of all of the Marisa's Denim collection because the Everflex has the most stretch and bounce back and like just kind of real hugging fit in it. So as an apple, the Everflex jeans, they're going to be great for you. That's what this is. That's why this is so nice and hugging through the hip and through the rise. So that feels really good. Again, length is just a little bit too long. I've said this about the last few pairs of jeans I've tried on that they've been too long. Common, common, common issue that happens. This could be something that I would tailor up if I really liked them and I wanted to add them to my wardrobe, or I could just do sort of like a fake hem myself on them by doing, um, kind of like a tape hem that irons down on them, whatever that might be. But there's ways that you can fix the length of a pant to make sure that they are right for you. Okay, that was the last pair of jeans from part one of the Marisa's Denim Try-On. Make sure you come back and check out part two where I'm gonna review and go over all of the jegging and the skinny fit jeans that I also grabbed from Maurice's. What did you like? What do you have questions about? Are there any pairs that you think you're gonna order or you're gonna to add to your wardrobe? I wanna hear about it. Let me know. We love to hear your feedback on what you learned from these try-ons also. So please leave a comment below. We always read, we always respond, and we're always open to suggestions. So if there's a place that you would like me to go shop at and do a try-on from, let me know. I'll see if I can swing it and make it work. But until then, we'll see you for part two of the Marisa's Denim Try-On.